Back at the start of the year, Byron was hot on the heels of goose flights around the country. He started his quest following a group of guns in his home county. If we don't shoot now, we're going to blame you. <laughs> in the darkness, the team assemble in a deserted farmyard, knowing only that they're about to be guided to a ditch somewhere nearby. There are plenty of geese in the area, and the harvested potato field they will overlook should prove fruitful. First, though, they have to traipse across muddy fields to start setting up their hides. Sit here facing that way, and one there. We sit. That's over here. And then we've got the hide here, the back has gone over. Well, put the back into it, boy. <laughs> They've arrived in plenty of time with dawn a good while off. This gives everyone the chance to get their nets up and dig out a stable shooting platform in the ditch. Really, if you can get a ditch or a, a wall or a hedge or something to get hidden in and try and use as much natural cover as you can, uh, rather than putting up a lot of hides, you don't want something that's got to stick like a box out, you know, so you stick out like a sewer thumb. You want it or something you can, you're looking at it, you disappear. Put some grass on it, right? The hide covered, they begin setting up the decoys. November's been tricky. It's been the, they're not the easiest in November, the geese. They're sort of in between stubble and taters. And... They position them in front and behind and settle into the hides to wait for the fast approaching sunrise. As the light grows in the eastern sky, the geese lift and begin to fly inland. Unfortunately, not to the decoys yet, but the numbers of geese is immediately evident. They are here in their thousands. The shooters wait and wait some more, all the while being taunted by distant skeins flying to other feeding areas. When eventually a skein comes in, they are all but keen to commit completely. Out of camera shot, a single goose does fall, but that won't feed many people. With the mild weather this winter, the geese have been wary and often hung back just beyond sensible shooting ranges. To get into the best goose shooting, hard weather is really what you want. Compared with the bag from the day before, it has been a less than successful morning. But all is not lost, as now Byron heads south and crosses the border to join David Virtue in England. It's a misty morning as a group of guns set off under the guidance of DV. It's not ideal, but he knows the geese are here. They will have to play it as it happens and hope the birds fly low enough to spot the decoys. Anything that's not, not non-plastic, we tend to use uh, the foam decoys. I've used some of Chris Green's this year, I've used like the Texas rags and you know we used them yesterday for the first time and they, they were quite successful just in that slight breeze. I mean I tend to for shooting grey lags, not so many decoys, spaced out in sort of family groups. If you're shooting pink feet, possibly bigger numbers of decoys you're using. And if you can produce a little bit of movement there in the decoys, it'll help you. The said decoys are laid out and everyone mans their ambush position. With the heavy mist, the birds lift late. Through the fog, they can be heard loud and clear before the group eventually gets a visual. It doesn't take long for the first skein to come in and a barrage of shots drop a handful of geese. After picking one lying awkwardly out of the fallen so it doesn't put the others off, the guns wait for some more action. It's thick fog that you want to try and get them through that fog to come and have a look at your decoys or whatever. And if, 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 if it's quiet and silent, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's very random if they're going to come over you if, you if you're quiet. But if you can call and just attract them a little bit closer, if they're maybe half a mile away and you can and, and get them to come through that fog and see the decoys, you'll, you'll get them to come in. Another skein closes the distance and a fusillade of shots rings across the field. The geese fall like rain. Despite the early success, the geese are not too keen to fly in the mist. Some of the guns move to a distant field to hopefully help them along, leaving their teammates somewhat optimistic that more movement will ensue. With limited success, the hunters return and the morning's activities draw to a close. A lot of my time is spent out scouting for geese. 90% of your time I would say is out 
looking for geese. Ten percent of your time is actually shooting in the morning. Preparation before you go out to shoot is your main thing. This morning we decided it was a sort of new area, a new bit of ground. Uh, would 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 go and have a go. Uh, the fog was a bit against us this morning, but uh, we still got a few at the end of the day. It's mild conditions, and the geese aren't that hungry. They're not that hungry. They can pick and choose with the feed. So, the, you know, they're taking the time and, and on a still day like today, it's still, they don't need to hurry up and come in there. They're not hungry. They're, they're, the geese shot have been very, very fat. If they're not committed to come in, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to commit suicide.